Can the influence of a single man change the course of history? This question, provocative and profound, serves as the for our deep dive into the life and legacy of one individual whose name has become the very embodiment of wealth and power, John D. Rockefeller. It's time to embark on a journey, a narrative exploration of a man born into a world of simplicity and modesty in the mid-19th century, yet destined for a stratospheric ascent to levels of wealth and influence that many could only dream of, let alone comprehend, John D. Rockefeller. The name itself is now tantamount to an unparalleled magnitude of wealth and influence, a testament to the power and reach he accumulated throughout his lifetime. However, his roots trace back to a much humbler beginning, to the rustic charm of upstate New York, where he was born into a world far removed from the grandeur his future held. What separates Rockefeller from the rest is not just his unrivaled success, but his journey to it. Born without the proverbial silver spoon, he was not a product of privilege. Instead, his rise to prominence was fueled by an unwavering determination, an unparalleled work ethic, and an innate business acumen that was well beyond his years. Rockefeller's journey to the pinnacle of success was far from a spontaneous leap. On the contrary, it was a carefully plotted voyage, characterized by meticulous planning and strategic execution. His business prowess, sharpened by innumerable trials and tribulations, coupled with his shrewd strategic outlook, laid the groundwork for a corporate empire that would not only revolutionize the American economy, but also engrave an indelible footprint on the global stage. This empire, the manifestation of Rockefeller's strategic brilliance and relentless pursuit of success was none other than Standard Oil. Standard Oil, his crowning achievement, stands as a paradigm of his strategic acumen and unyielding quest for success. This corporate powerhouse redefined the norms of the industry, setting unprecedented standards for corporate growth and market dominance. The tale of Rockefeller is, however, not exempt from controversy. His influence radiated far beyond the business sphere, permeating the intricate fabric of American society in its entirety. His methods, frequently characterized as ruthless and harsh, were a topic of fiery debate. The surrounding his tactics was paradoxical. While many questioned the ethics of his practices, others admired his business genius. Beyond the realms of the corporate world, his legacy extended further. He was not just the business magnet that history often paints him to be, but also a whose contributions to education, medicine, and various other fields continued to have an enduring impact. Much like his business ventures, his philanthropic endeavors were guided by a vision of progress, improvement, and the overall betterment of society. As we delve deeper into the life of this enigmatic figure, we tasked with the formidable challenge of deciphering the enigma of his influence and legacy. Was John D. Rockefeller merely a ruthless capitalist, unfettered by the shackles of morality, or was he also a generous philanthropist whose largesse improved countless lives? Could he, perhaps, have been a complex blend of both? No matter the conclusion we draw, one fact remains irrefutable. His impact on the world is unassailable. His story, a rich tapestry interwoven with threads of ambition, controversy, and philanthropy, continues to captivate us, even a century later. The saga of John D. Rockefeller serves as a testament to the power of human will and determination, a narrative that pushes us to ponder, can the influence of a single man change the course history? Whatever the answer, one thing is certain. His impact on the world is undeniable. His story filled with ambition, controversy, and philanthropy continues to intrigue us even a century later. Before we delve deeper into the labyrinth of Rockefeller's life, we would like to extend an invitation to you, our viewers. We create these intricate narratives, these deep dives into historical figures to enlighten, inspire, and provoke thought. But we cannot do this without your support. If you are intrigued by the life of John D. Rockefeller and wish to embark on this journey with us, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Hitting the subscribe button is a simple action, but it makes a world of difference to us. It allows us to continue producing high quality content, exploring the lives of influential figures and shedding light on pivotal moments in history. Your support enables us to unravel the stories that shape our world and our understanding of it. Subscribing is completely free, but the knowledge, inspiration, and perspective you gain are priceless. So join us as we venture further into the life of John D. Rockefeller.
a man whose legacy continues to reverberate through the annals of history. With each episode, we'll peel back another layer of the Rockefeller enigma, exploring his rise, his reign, and his enduring impact. So, click that subscribe button and become part of our journey into history. Thank you for your support. And now let's continue our exploration with the rise of an empire that changed the face of American capitalism, the story of Standard Oil. Before we dive deeper into the fascinating journey of John D. Rockefeller, let's pause for a moment to reflect on the sheer magnitude of his influence and impact. How did a man born into modest beginnings rise to build an empire that would forever change the face of American capitalism? As we ponder these questions, we invite you to join us on this narrative exploration. If you're enjoying this deep dive into the life and legacy of John D. Rockefeller, we'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button below. Not only will this small action support our channel, but it will also ensure that you never miss an episode of our historical deep dives. Subscribing to our channel is completely free and it helps us continue to produce high quality, in-depth content like this. Your support allows us to shed light on the lives of influential figures like Rockefeller, whose stories continue to shape our understanding of history. So hit that subscribe button and join us as we delve into the rise of an empire, the reign of Standard Oil, and the enduring legacy of John D. Rockefeller. Stay with us as we journey through the chapters of his life and the lessons we can glean from his story. Thank you for your support. Now, Let's continue our journey with the rise of an empire that would forever change the face of American capitalism, the story of Standard Oil. Born into modest beginnings, Rockefeller's journey to the top was far from ordinary. Born to a struggling salesman and a devout Baptist mother in the small town of Richford, New York, young John D. Rockefeller was a witness to the harsh realities of life from an early age. His father's flitting, often absent presence and mother's stern, devout influence molded his character, instilling in him a profound sense of discipline, thrift, and piety. Even in his early years, Rockefeller exhibited a natural talent for numbers and a keen business acumen. In the, in the rural corners of upstate New York, he would buy candy in bulk and sell it to his peers for a profit. He would also raise turkeys and sell them around Thanksgiving time for a significant profit. These early entrepreneurial experiences shaped his understanding of business, teaching him the importance of profit margins, supply and demand, and customer satisfaction. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to continue following Rockefeller's incredible journey. When he was just 16 years old, Rockefeller mustered the courage to step into the bustling, volatile world of business. He found work as a bookkeeper in a small produce commission firm in Cleveland, Ohio. His job was a tedious one, requiring long hours and meticulous attention to detail. Yet he embraced the challenge with relentless drive and unwavering commitment, performing his duties with impeccable precision. His meticulous nature and dedication did not go unnoticed. His employers were impressed with his work ethic and his ability to handle and organize financial records with such ease and precision. Yet bookkeeping was a small part of the grand vision he had for himself. As the world was entering a new era of industrialization in the mid-19th century, a particular industry caught his attention, the oil business. The discovery of oil in Pennsylvania had triggered an oil boom, promising huge profits for those willing to take the risk. It was a volatile, unpredictable industry in its infancy, full of potential and promise. And Rockefeller, with his sharp mind and keen business sense, knew just how to tap into it. He was quick to recognize the potential of oil as an energy source. Where others saw an unpredictable, volatile industry, he saw an opportunity. In 1863, he made a bold move. With his partner, Maurice B. Clark, and an initial investment of $4,000, he established his own oil business, Rockefeller and Clark. However, the partnership was short-lived. Rockefeller was not satisfied with sharing control of the company. So within two years, he bought out his partner and established Standard Oil. Standard Oil was more than just an oil company. It was the embodiment of Rockefeller's vision, a vertically integrated company that controlled every aspect of the oil business, from drilling to refining to distribution. This vertical integration was a game changer, 
it allowed Standard Oil to control prices, undercut rivals, and ultimately eliminate competition. But it was not just his business strategies that set Rockefeller apart. It was his relentless drive, his unwavering commitment, and his insatiable hunger for success. He was not just building a business, he was building an empire, an empire that would not only transform the oil industry, but also the face of American capitalism. Rockefeller's success testament to strategic mind and indomitable spirit. His story serves as a powerful reminder that success is not a product of luck or chance. It is a result of strategic decisions, innovation, and an unwavering commitment to one's vision. From humble beginnings to the head of an empire, Rockefeller's rise was a testament to his relentless drive and strategic mind. His story serves as a powerful reminder that success is not a matter of circumstance, but a product of hard work, determination, and strategic thinking. Standard Oil didn't just dominate the oil industry. It practically was the oil industry. A behemoth whose size was only rivaled by its influence, Standard Oil was an entity many feared to confront. From the time of its inception in the later part of the 19th century, specifically the year 1870, the company had shown a steely determination that was both awe-inspiring and foreboding. It was an energy titan that held the reins of power with an unrelenting grip. Standard Oil's meteoric rise and subsequent domination of the oil industry were primarily under the steadfast leadership of John D. Rockefeller. A man of iron resolve and exceptional business acumen, Rockefeller's leadership was instrumental in the growth and expansion of this corporate giant. His vision was clear, his determination unwavering, and he steered the company towards unprecedented success and influence. The march to dominance was not without its fair share of ruthless tactics. Standard Oil had a reputation for being relentless in its pursuit of market dominance. It employed a plethora of strategies that, while ruthless, were undoubtedly effective. They would undercut prices significantly, often to the point where competition couldn't keep up. Standard Oil knew the importance of transportation in the oil industry and capitalized on it. Through exclusive deals with railroads, the company ensured cheaper shipping costs. This not only boosted their profits, but also served as a significant barrier to entry for potential competitors. When price undercutting and exclusive railroads deals were not enough to stifle competition, Standard Oil would resort to a more direct approach. The company would simply buy out competitors, effectively absorbing them into their ever-growing empire. This strategy was employed numerous times, gradually reducing the number of competitors in the field and cementing Standard Oil's monopoly over the American oil industry. By the end of the 19th century, the situation was staggering. Standard Oil controlled approximately 90% of the oil refineries in the United States, a figure that was both shocking and a testament to the company's dominance. It was an oil colossus, a corporate leviathan that had its fingers in nearly every pie in the industry. However, Standard Oil's influence was not limited to American shores. The company's reach extended far beyond, touching corners of the globe from the cold oil fields of Russia to the burgeoning markets of Asia. Standard Oil was not just an American company, it was a global entity whose influence was felt worldwide. It was not uncommon to find the company's name in international discussions about oil, such was its global footprint. The company wasn't just a business, it was an empire, a towering symbol of corporate power and influence. And at its helm sat Rockefeller, the undisputed king of oil. A man whose name was synonymous with wealth and power, Rockefeller had cemented his status as one of the most influential figures in the world of business. However, as the saying goes, all empires must eventually fall. The dominance Standard Oil had enjoyed could not last forever. Public sentiment began to shift, turning against the oil giant. Accusations of unfair business practices started to surface, with critics condemning the company's ruthless tactics and monopolistic behavior. There were talks of price fixing of the company using its power to manipulate the market to its advantage. The mounting public criticism and increasing scrutiny culminated in a landmark case in 1910. The Supreme Court ruled Standard Oil was in violation of the Sherman Antitrust Act, a law designed to curb monopolies and foster competition. The court ordered the dissolution of Standard Oil, a decision that would have far-reaching consequences for the company and the oil industry as a whole. 
In the following year, in 1911, the once mighty empire was dismantled. Standard Oil was broken up into 34 separate companies, each operating independently. Some of these companies still exist today as major players in the oil industry, such as ExxonMobil and Chevron. The dissolution of Standard Oil marked a significant turning point in the history of the oil industry, signaling the end of an era. However, it was not the end of Rockefeller's influence. Despite the breakup of his empire, Rockefeller remained a titan of industry. His wealth continued to grow, and his influence remained significant. His business strategies, his leadership style, and his ability to navigate the turbulent waters of the business world continued to shape the oil industry and the world of business to this day. His legacy is a testament to his prowess, a lasting reminder of a man who built an empire that once dominated the world. Standard Oil didn't just dominate the oil industry, it practically was the oil industry. Rockefeller was not just a business tycoon, he was also one of the greatest philanthropists of his time. His wealth, colossal and awe-inspiring, became a powerful tool for transformative change and significant improvement in the hands of this extraordinary and influential man. His philanthropic endeavors were as diverse as they were impactful, stretching across a multitude of areas and sectors, most notably education, science, and healthcare. But it's not just their diversity that's worth noting, but also the depth of his involvement, the nature of his contributions, and the lasting impact they have had. Let's delve deeper and explore his philanthropic journey. Rockefeller firmly believed that education was the bedrock of a prosperous, flourishing society. With this unwavering belief, he took it upon himself to create a foundation that would radically shape the education landscape across America. He established the General Education Board in the early 20th century with an initial donation of an astronomical sum at that time, $1 million. This board was no ordinary educational foundation. It played a pivotal and influential role in shaping the American education system, providing much needed funding for schools and colleges across the nation. This transformative step brought about a wave of progress and development in American education, paving the way for a brighter future for generations to come. When we turn our gaze to the realm of science, we see Rockefeller's foresight and generosity shining brightly. His vision brought about the formation of the now world-renowned Rockefeller University. He dreamt of creating an epicenter for scientific research and innovation, a place where bright minds could gather, collaborate, and push the boundaries of human knowledge and understanding. This was not just a dream. Under his guidance and due to his generosity, it became a reality. Rockefeller University stands today as a testament to his vision. And indeed, the institution has lived up to that vision to its fullest potential. It has become a breeding ground for Nobel laureates and a hub for groundbreaking discoveries, irrevocably altering the course of science and human history. Furthermore, healthcare was a key focus of Rockefeller's philanthropic efforts. Recognizing the importance of medical research and patient care, he founded the Rockefeller Institute for Medical Research. This later evolved into the Rockefeller University Hospital, laying the groundwork for a new to healthcare. This establishment pioneered the revolutionary concept of combining research labs and patient care, creating a unique model that many medical institutions continue to follow today. Yet it's not just the tangible institutions that stand as monuments to Rockefeller's philanthropic spirit. His philosophy of giving, his deeply ingrained belief in using wealth, for the betterment of society has left an enduring legacy that inspires many today. Rockefeller once said, I believe in the supreme worth of the individual and in his right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. His actions were a reflection of these powerful words, echoing his belief system and his unwavering commitment to humanity. Rockefeller was a man of incredible wealth, but he was also a man of immense generosity. His philanthropic endeavors extended beyond mere donations. They were strategic investments in the future of humanity. He used his fortune not for personal gain, but to empower others, to improve lives, and to foster progress. However, his contribution was not just monetary, it was also philosophical. He reshaped the way the world understood the power and potential of philanthropy. 
Through his philanthropy, Rockefeller left a lasting impact on society that continues to resonate today. His life story serves as a powerful reminder that wealth and power, when wielded with wisdom and a deep sense of responsibility, can indeed be potent forces for good. What can we learn from the life of a man who wielded immense power and influence? John D. Rockefeller's life is an intriguing chronicle of ambition and success and a testament to the enduring human potential for good. This is a saga that remains etched in the annals of history, not merely for the immense wealth amassed, but for the lasting legacy left behind. Rockefeller's is a testament to the concept of the American dream, the belief that anyone, regardless of their background or circumstances, can rise to dizzying heights through sheer hard work, perseverance, and ambition. Born into a modest family, his journey to becoming one of the wealthiest individuals in history is a compelling narrative of relentless ambition and astute entrepreneurial acumen. One of the most evident lessons we can glean from Rockefeller's life is the importance of strategic thinking. In an era characterized by rapid industrial expansion and intense competition, Rockefeller had the foresight to see potential where others saw confusion and disarray. He had an innate understanding that controlling the oil refining industry was not just about having the most resources or capital, but also about having the right strategies in place. He was a master strategist and his business maneuvers were often far ahead of his time. He harnessed the power of competition, utilized his sharp business acumen to negotiate favorable deals, capitalized on economies of scale to dominate his industry, and outmaneuvered his rivals with his extraordinary strategic foresight. His life offers a masterclass in strategic business thinking, a blueprint that remains relevant in today's unpredictable global economy. But Rockefeller's life story also underscores the power of philanthropy. He was not just a titan of industry, but also a generous benefactor who gave away hundreds of millions of dollars in his lifetime. His philanthropic initiatives spanned education, health, and scientific research. His generous donations have left an indelible mark in various fields, and his legacy in philanthropy is as vast and enduring as his business empire. Rockefeller's philanthropy was not impulsive or whimsical. It was strategic, targeted, and designed to create a lasting impact. He believed in giving wisely rather than giving away. He sought to invest in causes that would drive systemic change, create opportunities for the underprivileged, and contribute to societal progress. This pragmatic model of strategic philanthropy is one that many modern philanthropists strive to emulate. Yet the life of Rockefeller also illuminates the immense responsibility that comes with wealth and influence. He was often a controversial figure, attracting criticism for his ruthless business practices and unimaginable wealth. The power he wielded was not without its detractors, and his business tactics were often viewed with skepticism and disdain. However, Rockefeller also used his power and influence to shape society in profound ways. He funded groundbreaking research, supported prominent educational institutions, and championed causes close to his heart. He believed in the power of wealth to affect positive change, and he dedicated a significant portion of his fortune to causes he believed in. His life underscores the fact that great power and wealth come with an equally great responsibility to society. In the course of his lifetime, Rockefeller transitioned from a ruthless business magnate to a generous philanthropist, his journey embodying the transformation that wealth and power can bring. His life remains a source of inspiration and a beacon for those who aspire to create, acquire, and utilize wealth responsibly and effectively John D. Rockefeller's life serves as a reminder that power and influence can be wielded to make a lasting impact, but it also comes with immense responsibility. His story is not just about the creation of wealth, but also about its use and the legacy it can leave behind. His life is a testament to the fact that wealth is not just about accumulation. It is also about contribution, impact, and legacy. The life of John D. Rockefeller is a testament to the power of ambition, strategy, and philanthropy. His humble origins in a small town, born to a struggling salesman and a devout mother, provide an unlikely starting point for a man who would go on to shape global industry and leave an enduring legacy. 
His early years were marked by hardship and frugality, but these challenges only served to fuel his determination and ambition. Rockefeller was born into an era marked by rapid change and growth, where the American dream was taking on a new, more tangible form. This was a time when fortunes could be made and lost overnight, and those who could navigate these turbulent waters successfully would emerge as titans of industry. Drawn to this promise of prosperity, young Rockefeller was not daunted by the challenges that lay ahead. Even as a boy, Rockefeller showed an uncanny knack for business. Whether selling candies to his classmates or raising turkeys for profit, he demonstrated a keen entrepreneurial spirit. His early ventures provided him with valuable lessons in perseverance, strategy, and the value of hard work. He absorbed these lessons, carrying them forward into his adult life and subsequent business endeavors. Rockefeller's journey from a modest upbringing to becoming one of the richest figures in history is a testimony of resilience, shrewdness, and unflinching ambition. His entry into the oil industry was not a coincidence, but a calculated risk based on careful observation and analysis of the market trends. His establishment of Standard Oil, an entity that would monopolize and redefine the energy landscape, was a monumental undertaking that his strategic genius. Yet beyond his business acumen and strategic brilliance, it was his philanthropy that truly marked him as a man of stature and substance. Rockefeller believed strongly in the power of wealth to bring about positive change. Inspired by his mother's teachings and driven by a personal sense of duty, he began to channel his enormous wealth into various philanthropic endeavors. In education, his donations helped to establish several major universities, creating access to quality education for future generations. In public health, his funding contributed to significant medical breakthroughs and improvements in healthcare facilities. In the arts, his support fostered creativity and cultural enrichment. His philanthropy did not stop at home, reaching as far as China, where he supported educational initiatives, contributing to the establishment of Peking Union Medical College. Such remarkable generosity demonstrated his deep-seated belief in giving back. His actions were driven by a sense of responsibility that comes with great wealth creating a model for philanthropy that subsequent generations of billionaires have sought to emulate. Rockefeller was not just a businessman and philanthropist, he was a visionary who saw the potential for wealth to be a force for good. He understood the transformative power of wealth and used it to impact society in meaningful ways. Even today, his approach to philanthropy serves as a model for those seeking to use their wealth to affect positive change. As we reflect on the life of John D. Rockefeller, we are reminded of the potential for one individual to shape the course of history for better or worse. His humble beginnings, his rise to unimaginable wealth, his enduring impact through philanthropy, all contribute to the captivating narrative that surrounds his life. The influence of Rockefeller, the man, the mogul, the philanthropist, his legacy continues to resonate today reminding us of the power of human ambition, strategy, and the potential to do good with wealth. The legacy of John D. Rockefeller is a reflection of his life's journey, a journey of ambition, strategy, resilience, and giving. His story serves as an enduring testament to the power of a single individual to impact the world significantly. The influence of Rockefeller, the man, the mogul, the philanthropist, continues to resonate today.